So childish. Why was she hiding it? What the hell is that? Hmm. See it? Hey, hey, oh. hey! Wait, wait, oh, get, get the new. Oh. Is that the new time I got? I think you like it. What the fuck? Get it off! An expedition led by the mercenary Ignacio Carapax from Cord Industries has discovered an extraterrestrial scarab and transported it to Victoria Cord, the company's CEO, in the icy wastelands. Jamie Reyes, a recent college graduate, returns home to his family in Palmera City, consisting of his father Alberto, mother Rocio, sister Milagro, Uncle Rudy, and Nana. As they catch up, Jamie discovers that his family has fallen on hard times while he was abroad. The new constructions by Cord Industries are gradually gentrifying his hometown, leading to his father's company failing and the family facing eviction. Alberto has also developed cardiac difficulties, adding to their already challenging situation. Jamie is determined to secure a stable job with his college degree to support his struggling family, but he faces countless rejections. Milagro, in a gesture of support, hires him as a cleaner at Victoria Cord's mansion. Meanwhile, Victoria discovers that her niece, Jenny Cord, has arrived to confront her about a defunct super-police technology known as the One Man Army Corps OMAC. This technology had been ordered to be scrapped by her father, former CEO Ted Cord, before his sudden disappearance. Victoria has resurrected the OMAC project and plans to sell it to international powers, utilizing an unconventional new technology. Jenny pleads with Victoria to halt the OMAC project, pointing to her father's decision to redirect Cord Industries away from weapon production. However, Victoria refuses to heed her niece's request. Jamie observes Victoria's threatening behavior towards Jenny and steps in to defend her, leading to both Jamie and Milagro losing their jobs. On the contrary, Jenny appreciates Jamie's protective act and invites him to meet her at Cord Tower to arrange alternative employment for him and his sister. After a heartfelt conversation with his father, Alberto, Jamie decides to accept Jenny's offer. Jamie arrives at Cord Tower but is forced to wait in the lobby. Jenny discovers the source of Omac's latest technology, the Scarab, further within the structure. She snatches it and flees, with Jamie spotting her in the foyer and pursuing her. Jenny panics when the alarm sounds and hands Jamie the scarab, which is disguised in a burger box, and asks him to guard it but never touch or even look at it. He reluctantly accepts and takes it home. His family persuades him to open the package, and they investigate the unusual figurine. When the scarab is taken out, it comes to life and attaches itself to Jamie, brutally fusing to his back and encasing him in alien armor. The Scarab speaks to him and begins a system check, launching him into space, sending him back to Earth, and flying him helter-skelter across the city, inflicting damage before returning him home. The family debates what to do, with Rudy insisting on not involving the police since he believes they work for Cord. Jamie resolves to find Jenny and acquire some information in order to get the scarab removed. He comes across Jenny escaping armed enforcers and assists her escape. Jenny was aware of the scarab because it had been in her father's possession for a long time, but she had no idea it would link with Jamie because it is sentient and selects its own host. The only way to retrieve it from him may be through her father's vault, but they will require a digital key housed at Cord Industries. 
Rudy grabs them and activates a homemade jamming device to disable the cameras, while Jamie and Jenny break in to steal the key, a wristwatch. Jenny says that Victoria was Ted's older sister, but their father passed the business on to Ted. Victoria felt enraged and has since been obsessed with growth and profit. The jamming device fails, and Kara Pax in a prototype OMAC suit attacks the group. Jamie's suit is activated by the scarab, and he engages in a losing struggle with the bodyguard. The scarab offers to take complete control of Jamie's body and demonstrates the suit's ability to create any weapon on command. However, Jamie prevents the scarab from killing Ignacio, allowing him to defeat and nearly incapacitate the younger man. Rudy and Jenny disable Carapax with the jamming device and evacuate the injured Jamie. During their journey, Jamie discloses that the scarab's name is Kajita, which he discovered when it took over his body and fused with its consciousness. They proceed to Jenny's father's old estate, and she leads them into a secret subterranean lair where Ted operated as the superhero Blue Beetle, using the key. He possessed the scarab, which he concluded was some kind of extraterrestrial superweapon, but it refused to link with him. Therefore, Ted had to design his own electronics and suit from scratch. Rudy begins hacking Ted's computer while Jamie and Jenny go upstairs. Jamie's wounds are healed by the scarab, and he and Jenny have a conversation. Jenny's mother was the one who motivated her father to take on hero work and turn around the firm, but after she died, he grew distant and preoccupied. He vanished one day, never to be seen again. She admires Jamie's deep familial ties, and they almost share a kiss until Rudy informs them that he has successfully broken into the computer. Rudy discovers that the Scarab had previously merged with someone else, who was examined to construct the prototype OMAC suit. However, the experiment was halted before it could be completed. When the Scarab selects a host, it integrates with them on a cellular level and does everything it can to safeguard the bearer. Unfortunately, killing the host is the only way to get rid of the Scarab. Jamie is discouraged, but Rudy approaches him outdoors, telling him that the Scarab may be a blessing rather than a burden. When they see Victoria's helicopter approaching the Reyes' home, Jamie rushes back. Victoria's enforcers raid the Reyes' home, rounding up the family and demanding to know where their kid is while setting fire to the house. When Jamie arrives and the suit withstands their blows, they turn their attention to his family. Most of the troops are defeated by Jamie, but Alberto and Milagro are trapped by a soldier while Victoria and Carapax prepare a secret weapon. Jamie and Kajida eliminate the soldier, but Alberto has a heart attack, distracting Jamie long enough for Carapax to capture him in an electric claw, rendering him unconscious. Jamie is kidnapped by Carapax while his father passes away before the ambulance arrives. Nana convinces Rocio, Milagro, and Rudy to put their pain aside for the time being in order to save Jamie. Jenny volunteers to assist and transports them to her childhood home. She boards Ted slash Blue Beetle's bugship, an armored airship, and sets out to organize a rescue. Jamie is being held captive at an old island castle near Cuba, where the OMAC is being developed. Victoria intends to transfer the Scarab's programming into the OMAX brain systems and make copies to produce thousands of super soldiers, unaware that the procedure would almost certainly kill Jamie. Her senior scientist argues that keeping the host alive will allow them to learn more about the Scarab, but Victoria orders him to start extracting the Scarab's programming into Carapax. Meanwhile, Jenny brings the Reyes family to the island, where Nana devises a strategy to infiltrate Kord's outdated technology. They land the spacecraft amid heavy gunfire, transforming it into a walking tank-like vehicle, and wreak havoc on the enforcers. Milagro and Jenny venture into the maze of tunnels in search of her brother. They slip into a side chamber to evade the guards and discover that Victoria has already built hundreds of OMAC units, which are being powered up by the Scarab. Jamie suffers tremendous pain in the lab as a result of the download, and his organs begin to fail. As he fades away, he has a vision of Alberto, 
who advises him to accept his fate and embrace the scarab rather than resisting it. Jamie bids his father farewell and reaches out to Kajita, just as Jenny and Milagro detonate explosives on the generator. As the explosives detonate, Jamie fully integrates with the scarab, ending the extraction process. However, not before Carapax's OMAC suit is fully energized and operational. Jamie manages to free himself from his shackles, but the scarab needs some time to reset. He receives assistance from the scientist, who is then killed by Carapax in his newly enhanced suit. Jamie flees but is pursued by troops. Nana enters and dispatches the enforcers skillfully using a machine pistol and admits that she was once a rebel. They return to the ship, but Milagro and Jenny have not returned, so Jamie and Rudy go back in to locate them. Jenny is captured by Victoria and her soldiers when the explosion separates the two girls. Milagro is cornered, but Jamie arrives just in time. He effortlessly takes down the troops and saves his sister, now that he is fully symbiotic with the Scarab. However, he is discovered and engaged by Carapax. A tremendous battle unfolds, with Jamie initially being overpowered by the larger, stronger opponent. Rudy appears, and Carapax fires a rocket at him, tragically ending his life. Enraged, Jamie gains the upper hand and contemplates exacting revenge on his father and uncle by killing Carapax. However, he is ultimately forced to back down by the Scarab. It tells Jamie what it saw after briefly downloading into Ignacio's mind, revealing how he was conscripted as a child soldier at a young age, how Victoria found him, and used him as her guinea pig for the OMAC project. It also reveals how his mother was killed in a random and senseless bomb attack, which turned him into the cold-hearted man he became. Jamie feels sympathy for him and chooses to spare his life. Meanwhile, Victoria tries to flee in a helicopter with Jenny in tow, demonstrating to Jenny that even if she loses the island facility, she has the Scarab's code on a portable device and can restart. Jenny uses a protective foam contraption her father gave her to incapacitate the pilots and safely eject herself and Victoria from the helicopter. Jenny then destroys the Scarab code duplication, and Victoria orders Carapax to eliminate them. However, Carapax turns on her as the others flee, reuniting with a very much alive Rudy. Carapax overloads his suit, causing it to explode and taking Victoria, the stronghold, and all OMAC troops with it. The Reyes family mourns Alberto, and the community comes together to support them. Jenny takes over as CEO of Cord Industries, vowing to carry on her father's legacy. She offers Rudy a new vehicle and informs them that her company will renovate the Reyes' home. Jenny mentions going to her father's estate, and Jamie offers to fly her there, and they share a kiss. A garbled signal from Ted Cord assures his daughter that he is still alive, deep beneath the Blue Beetle's lair.